Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting algebraic challenging equation. Equation is x power 9 plus 1 over x power 8 equal to x plus 1. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing domain as usual. Denominator cannot be 0 so I will write x can't be 0. As x is not 0, non-zero value so I can multiply both sides with x power 8, x power 8, let us expand it, x power 17 plus 1 equal to x power 9 plus x power 8, take all the term to one side, x power 17 minus x power 9 minus x power 8 plus 1 equal to 0. Now from first two term you can see x power 9 is common. So let us consider x power 9 common. It will be left x power 8 inside the bracket minus 1. From last two term I will take minus 1 common. So same bracket I will be having x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see once I will take x power 8 minus 1 common I will be having inside the bracket x power 9 minus 1 equal to 0. Now f dot g equal to 0 that means either f equal to 0 or g equal to 0. So I will write equation number 1 x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0 and second equation I will be writing x power 9 minus 1 equal to 0. If you will see only 8 solutions we will be having from here first equation. 9 solutions we will be having from second equation. Overall 17 solutions are there. We have to find out how many solutions are real as we have to find out real solution only. Let's go for it. I will write equation number 1 x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will begin with one is strong algebraic identity. It is a square minus b square. Let me write difference of two squares in first bracket a plus b. In second bracket a minus b. So let us apply here. How it is x power 4 whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 0. Now I will write x power 4 plus 1 in one bracket x power 4 minus 1 in second bracket. Now from the first one, I will do one manipulation from this equation. Let us see how it is. I will add 2x square and I will subtract the same so that it will come again in the form of difference of 2 squares. And for this equation, I will be writing again x square whole square minus 1 whole square like that difference of two squares equal to zero. Now from the first bracket you can see it is the first three term is x square plus one whole square. These three terms whole square minus square root two times x whole square. Now again difference of two squares formula is on. Now come to the second bracket a square minus b square literally I will apply x square plus 1 second bracket x square minus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see a square minus b square let us apply x square plus root 2x plus 1 in one bracket and in second bracket I will write x square minus root 2x plus 1 third bracket I will write x square plus 1, fourth bracket x square minus 1 square it is. So let me write x plus 1, x minus 1 for this only and right hand side is 0. Now 8 solutions are visible. Now you can see from first bracket 2 solutions, second bracket 2 solutions, third bracket 2 solutions and then 1 and 1. So overall 8 solutions are there. Let me consider these two separately. I will solve here only on this slide 
these three solutions. How it is? From last two, we can write x is equal to plus minus 1. This is done. Now come to x square plus 1 equal to 0. So from here I will write x is equal to plus minus i. How it is? You can consider x square is equal to minus 1 and which is equal to i square. I am not using Euler's identity. This is fundamental of complex or imaginary numbers only. x square is equal to i square. Take a square root both sides. So x will become plus minus i. So this is here. Now we have to find out only four solutions from these two quadratic equations. Let us solve. So let me write here x square plus root 2x plus 1 in one bracket. And second bracket I will be writing x square minus root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So let's apply Sridharachar formula for the first bracket. Minus b, so minus root 2 plus minus under the root b square, so root 2 square is 2 minus 4 ac so minus 4 divided by 2a so 2. Similarly for this I will write plus root 2. This is the only difference. Plus minus under the root minus root 2 whole square that is 2 minus 4 over 2a so 2. Rest is as it is same. So I will be solving minus root 2 and this is square root of minus 2. Now we know that square root of minus 1 is i. So I will write i root 2 it is divided by 2. Here also only root 2. This difference is there only. Plus minus i root 2 over 2. If you want to write in terms of denominator root 2, we can write minus 1 plus minus i over root 2. And here I will write 1 plus minus i over root 2. What I did? I wrote denominator 2 as root 2 times root 2. Then you can see numerator is having root 2 common denominator. 1 root 2 you will cancel. So you will be having this. Now you can check from the first equation x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. There are how many solutions? 8 solutions. Let me write once x is equal to, I have calculated already, plus minus 1, plus minus i, then we are having minus 1, let me write directly, minus plus, plus minus i over root 2. So you can see 2 plus 2 plus 4 solution. Overall, 8 solutions and out of this 8 solution, only 2 are real that is plus minus 1. Now I will consider the second equation. I will write x power 9 minus 1 equal to 0. I will begin with the identity a cube minus b cube. It is a minus b. Second bracket a square plus b square plus ab. So I will use here x cube whole cube minus 1 whole cube equal to 0. Let us apply a cube minus b cube. I will write a minus b. Consider this is our a and this is 1 is our b. So a minus b. So I will write x cube minus 1. Now a square, x cube whole square, x power 6, b square, 1 as it is and then plus ab. So I will write plus x cube plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see a cube minus b cube is again available here. I will write a minus b. Now consider x as a. a minus b a square plus b square plus ab. Done. Now I will consider this equation x power 6 plus x cube plus 1 equal to 0. Now third bracket is quadratic in x cube. So I will apply here quadratic formula little later. Let us conclude from this side. x minus 1 equal to 0. 
so x is equal to 1 third real solution means 1 is solution with multiplicity 2 for the given algebraic challenge equation now come to second quadratic equation second bracket let me apply formula minus b so minus 1 plus minus under the root b square so 1 minus 4 ac so negative 4 over 2a so 2 so it is minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2 and if you recall it is cube root of unity ultimately what we are solving cube root of unity so we are getting 1 this is 1 here omega and omega square minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2 is omega square minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2 is omega so cube root of unity there are three roots one omega and omega square now come to the third equation if you will check how many solutions are there one and two complex one is real two complex now here we are having three solutions three plus three if you will add then you will write six solutions power is degree is six so how we will calculate we will write it is quadratic in x cube so we are calculating x cube let's apply quadratic formula or give substitution x cube equal to a minus 1 plus minus square root of don't write directly square root of minus b so minus 1 whole square plus 1 whole square it is plus 1 minus 4 ac over 2a so we will be writing minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2 so this is our x cube now if you will write this one is omega and omega square then i am writing directly because solution is coming out complex so i can write directly without using euler's identity x is equal to cube root of omega and cube root of omega square so this much we can write both solutions are complex because omega is complex number so we will get complex solutions so let me write overall solution of the complete equation so i will write x is equal to plus minus 1 then we calculated plus 1 then we calculated plus minus i then we calculated two cube roots of unity omega and omega square then we calculated minus 1 plus minus or better is to write plus minus 1 plus minus i over root 2 and then we are having six solutions from cube root of omega and cube root of omega square so 3 plus 3 plus 4 3 plus 3 plus 4 10 11 12 16 and 2 16 and plus 1 17 it is exactly same 2 1 2 1 1 now you can add 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 10 10 10 plus 4 14 plus 3 17 and if you will check only three solutions are real where x is equal to plus 1 and minus 1 is the real solution and plus 1 is having multiplicity 2 I hope this video is meaningful to you without using complex number or better is to say Euler's identity. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video friends. Good luck and take care of yourself.